Greece has reached a deal with its international creditors for a third bailout that will secure its finances for the next three years. It's reportedly worth 85 billion euros and includes a 10 billion euro cash injection to shore up the Greek banking system. In return, the Athens government has agreed not to spend more than it raises in income. The Commission team has worked day and night to deliver on the Euro Summit statement and on the expectations of the Eurogroup. This work was done hand in hand with the IMF, the ECB and the ESM on the ground. The institutions and the Greek authorities achieved an agreement in principle on a technical basis and talks are still ongoing on finalising details. Earlier in the programme we spoke to Philip Pangalos, a journalist in Athens. The good news is that they have reached an agreement. It's 76 billion euros after marathon talks that went on from Monday into Tuesday. Uh, the next step, of course, will be putting it through Greece's parliament, uh, which goes tomorrow, Thursday, with a view to having it voted through before a Eurogroup meeting of finance ministers on Friday. Now, the problem here, of course, is Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras and his radical left Caesar government were elected at the start of the year on a pledge not to have more austerity. And, of course, there's lots more austerity in this agreement. There are going to be rises in VAT on Greek islands. There's going to be rises in taxation for farmers, which is going to be pretty unpopular. And there's going to be a cut in early retirements. These are obviously reforms that need to be made. But there will no doubt be resistance from the, the hardliners in the so-called left platform within Syriza. It's likely to be passed, again, with the backing of pro-European opposition MPs, but it's going to be tough. Also, there's a certain amount of disbelief in some of the other uh, European capitals, especially amongst uh, more hardliners like the Germans, who feel that some of the details on this agreement are still a little bit vague. And the other matter that we should bear in mind, of course, is this is more austerity. These are going to be recessionary measures. Greece has slipped back into recession. The economy is expected to contract by at least 3% this year. And again, in 2016, this is an economy that's already contracted by more than a quarter in the previous five years. So there's going to be tough measures, uh, and there are certain issues that have to be cleared up. One of the key issues is the Greek banks, which, of course, since capital controls were introduced at the start of July, the Greek economy has just gone into free fall. Uh, Greek savers have taken their money out from the Greek banks, and also non-performing loans are, are skyrocketing as companies uh, fall further behind and individuals. So the banks have to be recapitalized. It's estimated that they need something like 25 billion euros. Uh, and also the whole big, big question about Greece's debt and whether it's sustainable. And I think the answer to that is it isn't. People like the IMF saying they won't come on board this new bailout unless Greece's debt is made sustainable. And there's a certain amount of resistance from the Germans on that front. So a lot of hurdles for Mr. Tsipras. Still a long way to go. Philip Pangalos there in Athens.